Hi everyone, welcome to my class. I'm going to start by talking a little bit about the focus of the lesson. So my name is Wendy Valdez and this lesson is for an American government class and it is designed for ELD students who are intermediate, early advanced or advanced. This strategy is for a two day lesson um, on the three branches of government. And the first day we will be looking at each individual branch. The second day we will be looking at how all the three branches are interconnected. And for this strategy, we are using a graphic organizer. The reason why I chose to use a graphic organizer is because it helps students get a definition and get the wording of the content. And with this tool, I will also be able to give students an idea of what each looks like visually, which is helpful for English language learners. Um, so let's begin the demonstration. All right, guys, now that we've finished our quick write, let's put our notebooks away and let me pass out our article that we will be reading today. So everybody has their article. Today's article is on the three branches of government. So everybody has an article in their desk, either they're looking at it in the iPad or on paper. And we will be using a graphic organizer for this lesson. So here is your graphic organizer. Everybody should have one of these as well. So the way we are going to be using this graphic organizer is that it is divided into the three branches of government. The legislative branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch. In every row, we will be writing different things. So for our first row, we will be giving examples. For our second row, we will be giving non-examples. And for our last row, we will be doing a visual representation of each branch of government. So, for example, what kind of things will we be able to write on the first part? Think about questions like, what is it? What or who is it? You can also think about, what can they do? For our non-examples, you can think about what is it not, or who is it not. Or you can think about what can't they do, what can, not, can they not do. And of course, the visual representation, just, you can draw anything. You can draw a actual person or group of people. You can draw a building. You can draw a symbol, anything that you can think of. So can anybody here give me an example of what would go under the first row for the legislative branch? Great example. So did everybody hear what she said? All right, so for the legislative branch, your classmate said that a good example would be the Senate, or you can also write the House of Representatives. Can anybody give me an example that would go under the second row, which is the non-example part? So thinking about what is it, or what is it not, or who is it not, or what can't they do? Yes? That's a great example. So the president. And where does the president go? That's right, on this side. So the president would be an example of the 
executive branch. So now that we kind of have a little bit of a background on what we are writing on the three branches of government, I want you to take about 20 minutes to read through the article. It's three pages. So just go through the article individually, complete the graphic organizer as best as you can. You can either do bullet points or complete sentences. It's up to you guys. And when we are done, we will be sharing with each other with our partners. So just take about 20 minutes and if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll walk around.